Hey folks, Nathan here. So today we're talking about, um, oh, sorry. <laughs> Ever since I passed a thousand subscribers, I kind of have a paparazzi. <laughs> kind of a big deal. <laughs> oh, don't, uh, uh. Okay, so maybe it's me doing it, but check this out. I can make the flashes disappear. And just like that, they're gone. All goofy jokes aside, being able to remove a photographer's flash from a video is actually super useful. If you're doing wedding videography, concerts, or fashion shoots, whatever it is, this is the tutorial for you, and it's just a quick one today. I actually got a comment on one of my latest videos asking how to do this in Resolve. They saw a video by Matt Johnson doing it in Premiere, and well, I figured I would give my crack at it using optical flow in DaVinci Resolve. Let's get into it. So here we are in DaVinci Resolve 16, and this effect can totally be done in the free version of Resolve. So I'm just gonna play through this clip and we have a couple on their wedding day taking a photo. So as you can see, there's a nice flash in the middle there and that's exactly what we wanna get rid of. So first, what we're gonna do is we're going to go over and find where our flash is. Okay, that's where it is. Now we're gonna go one frame in front of where it starts and then go one more frame back and I'm just using the arrow keys on my keyboard to select frame by frame. I then wanna make a cut at this point so I can just go in and use the blade tool, make a cut there. Now I wanna go a few frames ahead. So this is where the flash starts. We're at the end of the flash, we wanna go one frame further. I'm gonna press A to select the clip and then I'm gonna hit Control, Shift, and Bracket on my keyboard as a shortcut to take everything back. So now we have the two shots. Now as you can see, we could play through it just like that but there's a weird bit of motion change between the two sets of frames. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go in and use the smooth cut transition. So what this does is it uses DaVinci Resolve's optical flow feature to create new frames to kind of fill in the gaps. And in the past, I've done tutorials on how to use this feature to get extra slow-mo or to do a warp transformation. You can check them out right below the like button down there. So now that the shameless self-promotion is out of the way, let's take our smooth cut transition and drag it onto the clip. Now, by default, it does go quite long. So what I wanna do is I just wanna shorten that down quite a bit. Let's bring it down to, let's say, two frames. So now, if we go over top, we see that it transitions much more seamlessly and we can play through that part of the clip and you could never even tell that there was a flash there to begin with. So it is just that easy, but I'm gonna go over a couple extra tips to show you how to do this super fast. If you have maybe a trigger happy photographer at a wedding that you're taking a video of, you wanna get as optimized and as dialed in as you can. So anyway, let's check out another clip. So here we have this totally not clickbait shot of our model here, and we have a couple flashes. So we're gonna do just like before, Go in right before the flash and then one frame before that. I'm gonna hit control backslash on my keyboard to make a cut and then I'm gonna go a few frames over and again, control shift and bracket. Now we can drag over the smooth cut feature but what we can also do is we can right click on smooth cut and then set it as our standard transition. So now I'm gonna zoom in on the clip, I'm gonna right click and add a six frame smooth cut and then let's just shorten that up a little bit and boom, easy peasy lemon squeezy. Now that's pretty quick, but we can make things even faster. We're gonna right click on this transition. We're gonna click create transition preset and then we can name that and I'm just gonna call it smooth cut fast. Okay, great. Now, if we go down to our user created transitions, we see smooth cut fast. So now what I wanna do is I wanna right click on this and then set as standard transition. Now we're gonna play through our clip and find the next flash point. Oh, right there, we'll go back a few frames. Okay, right before it and then one before that. And again, I'm gonna hit control backslash on my keyboard, go one. There, one frame after, and then control shift and bracket. So I can just right click on the area and then add a smooth cut from here, but I can do it even easier than that. 
I'm going to select the area between the two clips. I'm then gonna hit Alt T on my keyboard and instantly I get my two frame transition that's set as my default. So anyway, folks, that's it for today's tutorial and cleaning up those pesky camera flashes when working with photographers on location or wherever you may be. So anyway, if you liked this video, be sure to hit that button and get subscribed for lots more videos like this. And well, if you didn't like the video, then you can hit the dislike button too. It's just good for me to know. Anyway, folks, have yourself a good one. Okay, bye.